As I said before, the, the immigration population is rapidly growing, and um, something definitely needs to be done about it. Uh, let's see what I have here. Americans have long been careless, or for a long time, Americans have been careless in the area of preserving natural resources and found little need to limit consumption. But it's the dramatic increase of the U.S. population over the last four decades that has result, resulted in our abuse of our natural resources. We're living beyond our means and are doing so increasingly as our population expands. This is a serious problem with major implications for future generations. Um, um, as I said before, immigration is the second largest contributor of pop population growth in the United States. And um, immigrate, or immigrants, U.S.-born children who are legal are the largest. So together, the immigrants and their U.S.-born children account for roughly 75% of the annual population increase, which is an additional 2.25 million people into our country every year. Um, Immigration births account for a disproportionately large proportion of the U.S. births. Uh, Native-born Americans average roughly 13 births, births per thousand people, while immigrants average roughly 28 births. Um, as a result, it's estimated that immigrants' births account for a larger proportion of total U.S. births than do Native-born births. Um, what, that pretty, what I'm pretty much saying right now is that uh, immigration is um, it's, it's getting pretty out of hand. There's more... Um, of uh, these uh, anger babies, not so much with anger babies, but babies born to immigrants than there are of um, babies born to um, natural born citizens, or uh, um, native born citizens, is what I have it defined as. Um, uh, the, I believe my opponent said that um, the anger babies isn't as big of a, an issue, pretty much. Um, birthright citizenship is an anchor that keeps illegal immigrants in our country, keeping jobs they hold out of reach for um, legal residents, um, mothers of anchor babies, um, these immigrants who come into our country to deliver their babies, they know that uh, the mother of an anchor baby will not be deported. Also that um, as soon as the baby turns 18, they can bring in a spouse or children of their own, and as soon as, uh, as, soon as they turn 21, they can start to bring in their whole family, which I have a number of years. Children born to illegals in the United States can initiate a chain when the legal children of, or when the legal children of illegal parents reach the age of 18, they can sponsor an overseas spouse and unmarried children of their own. Um, immigrants in attempt to specifically give birth to their children in America have been known to push forth and do whatever it takes just to make it across the border so that um, in the end they can uh, have their children sponsor other family members to come into the country. Um, Uh, legal children of illegal immigrants can ultimately initiate a chain and extend family and in-laws. Um, let's see. Uh, it, it lure, birth, uh, birthright citizenship lures uh, illegal aliens who know a U.S. born child is an anchor baby who will be able to sponsor his relatives for um, residency and citizenship. They also know that the mother of the baby will not be deported. As well, um, a child born to illegal aliens in the U.S. will, um, let's see. Oh, birthright citizenship is a powerful anchor for keeping illegal workers in the country. An estimated four million residents have received this type of citizenship. So four million people living in the United States right now have um, have attained this type of citizenship where they were brought in, or they were born here by uh, some act of God, that their parents made it across the border in time to have the, their child in this country so that their child is collecting these benefits that our tax dollars are paying for. I'm out of time.